Welcome to Mama Ruth's house. Glad you stopped by. Today we're going to be making some apple tarts and they only take a few minutes to cook. And if you're following Weight Watcher program, there are two points per um, tart and this recipe makes four servings. We're going to be using apple pie filling that is no sugar added. The Truvia brown sugar. butter flavored spray, and phyllo dough. All right, let's get going. Put you down so you can see what I'm doing. Okay. So I have a sheet here that I put a, a, a cooking mat in. I'm just gonna shoot it with a little bit of spray. It would probably be fine, but we might as well put some on there. We're gonna be using three pieces of phyllo dough. All right, if I can get it apart here. We're going to put that right on this tray. Spread it out a little bit. We're going to spray it, coat it with the cooking spray. And then we're going to add another one on top. Easy for me to say, huh? Spread it out. We're going to do that same thing. Spray it. If you have your phyllo dough out for any length of time, be sure to cover it or it will dry out. We're going to do the one, last one. We're going to do that same thing. Let me put this phyllo dough back in where it goes. I don't want it to get dried out for our next time we use it. All right. Now let's spray this one. All right, so your baking sheet is gonna look like this. Then we're going to cut them in half. And if you don't get it all the way like that, you can just move it. I always use the pizza cutter. And then we're gonna cut them in half again this way. It doesn't have to be perfect. So that you're gonna have four pieces. We're gonna cut this one. All right. Then we're going to put a spoon of our pie filling in the center. of each. Oh, and I kind of break them up because they're uh, little quartered apples. I, I break them up so it's a little smaller to, to work with in our tart. So it looks kind of like that, just evenly. We're going to take some cinnamon, sprinkle it on there. Maybe like an eighth of a tea, I don't know, eighth of a teaspoon. Just kind of like that, just sprinkle it on there. You can see that. Now we're going to take this brown sugar and put some on each one. That was a tablespoon. Uh, we probably don't need the whole tablespoon.
this Truvia is equal parts, just like you measure uh, regular brown sugar, you measure this. So if you were to put, well, I guess we did use it. That's okay. Um, if you were putting a tablespoon of regular brown sugar, you would do the same thing with this. So then we're just going to take these, fold them over. They don't look pretty right now, but it'll be fine. And they cook super fast, 10, 15 minutes in the oven till they're golden in a 400 degree oven. And it makes a nice little dessert, a little snack. So we're putting them in the oven 400 degrees. Welcome back. They look golden brown. Took about 11 minutes. Get them out of the oven. See how toasty they look? I'm gonna put them on the the rack to cool here. So we're gonna just take them right out of here, put them on our sheet to cool. They're yummy warm. And two points a piece. We'll let them cool. I wish you could smell them. They just look amazing. Okay, we're going to try one. Super hot. I really appreciate everyone watching and, and learning along the way. And if you have any recipes that you would like me to try to, to make a lighten up a little bit, but they're your favorite recipe, um, I most certainly would do that. Go ahead and put it in the comments and please, uh, please subscribe and share. Hmm. Super yummy with just two points. With that being said, I'm going to let you go for the day. I just appreciate you guys and watching me and, and uh, joining me on my journey. I just thank you again. And until next time, make a fantastic day. Mm -hmm.